Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Alrighty. So, um, my left hand is done, but not my right hand. So let's fix that. Um, I'm going to use this color called Goth Princess. So I just made it, um, it is a thermal and it has pink foils in it. It's really cute. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Sorry, I had to get a drink. <clears throat> oh, shoot. Wait a second, guys. I need to do my freaking peel base. I'm going to apply my peel base real quick and I will be right back. I can't believe I forgot that part. <laughs> All right, we're back. Sorry about that. I can't believe I, I totally forgot about that part. Um, so I only did one layer today. Sometimes I do two layers. Sometimes I do one. I guess it just depends on how I'm feeling. So <laughs> we're just doing one today. All right. I'm not telling you what this thermal changes to. I just want you to see. So hopefully it will um, work because it has to go cold to get the other color. So we're going to go in with my sensitive base coat. So um, yesterday and today, I just wasn't really feeling like doing my um, Tybo workouts and I know that I have to do abs tomorrow um and I say I have to because I'm working tomorrow and so that means the only way I'm gonna work out is if I get up in the morning early enough to do it before I have to like shower and get ready and then wake everybody else up and go to work right so um I I'm gonna do my abs because that one's only about 35 minutes long so I wake up at five, bust it out, and then go shower. And then I have a little bit of time to get ready before I have to wake everybody up. <clears throat> so anyways, um, so I just didn't feel like doing a Tybo. So instead, yesterday and today, I went for a really long walk. So today was only just over four miles. Um, yesterday it was 4.79 miles. And that's just because I had added an extra little loop in. Yesterday, I just wasn't really sure what I was doing. I was just kind of like going with it, right? Very woo way. Um, but today I had the intention of going to a certain spot. So I walked um, to the high school, which I mean, it's a little over two miles one way. So I walked there and back um, and it was a nice walk. Um, my average speed was like 16 minutes and something. It was like 16.53 or something like that. Um, so, you know, I mean, I'm not walking too terribly fast, but you know, it was, it was nice. It felt good. It was nice to just be out there walking and be alone and just, you know, having that, uh, it wasn't necessarily quiet because there was you know, stuff going on around me. And I had an earbud in one ear. I, I never, I never <laughs> walk around with earbuds in both ears because I want to be able to hear my surroundings still. And I also um, carry a <laughs> very nice knife with me. So yeah, but um, it was, it was nice. It was very peaceful, at least. I'm shaking so bad right now, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but oh my Lord. So yeah, I'm subbing for third grade tomorrow. I subbed for third grade last Friday as well. So I'm slowly getting in. I had a teacher um, ask me, cause I was walking by and I was like, hey, I'm available more this year. And she's like, oh, how about these days? And I was like, yes, put me down. So um, she still got to put me in for a couple days. So we're slowly getting into work again. And I had um, my, my son's kindergarten teacher from last year. I had her text me and ask me if I could work a day, but one of the days she wanted me to work was tomorrow. And I've already had this day scheduled since um, before school started. <laughs> uh, it was funny because I knew the teacher the day before that she needed it. And so she put me in. She got me in real lickety split, lickety split quick early. Oh my gosh, I can't even speak. So yeah. Um, so I'm not going to be going to the football game this week, tomorrow night, because um, it's another away game, but that's not why I'm not going. 
my son, he didn't get to play last Friday really. He got, I think he was in just for like the kickoff. And then um, that was like it. And um, his foot, his ankle was a little swollen. And, um, and turns out that he, you know, has an infection in his ankle or right above his ankle from some sort of a bite. Not sure exactly what it was. So anyways, he's on antibiotics for that. So um, he won't be playing. So I'm like, I'm not gonna drive up there. So yeah, but um, hopefully that's all healed up and better by next week. Cause next week we're supposed to have our first freaking home game finally. But at the same time, we need people to volunteer for um, like the booths and stuff. And so I don't know. Because if we don't have people to volunteer to do like the announcing and scoreboard and all that type stuff, then we're not going to have um, a game, which would really suck. Right? So, and then, you know, snack bar. When Varsity got to have their home game, um, they didn't have hamburgers and hot dogs at all because they didn't have anybody volunteering to barbecue. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. thought about putting a glove on and then I was like, man, I need a glove. So my thumb is getting nice and nice and gross. And now I'm contaminating my liquid by sticking my pink brush in there. Well, it's not changing. My liquids apparently aren't cold enough to make it change. So that sucks. I mean, I guess I could like go and stick it in the freezer real quick and show you, but. <laughs> so um, on my walk today, I'm like just, you know, walking and I kind of took like the, um, the back road route to get there today um, instead of taking like the main main route that you know you would normally take to get down there to the high school um i went you know very neighborhood streets very off beaten and i freaking saw the mailman that delivers to my mailbox and i was like oh my gosh and he recognized me <laughs> so he knows how far i was walking today <laughs> it's funny My skin, my cuticle is like all messed up right there. I'm gonna, hold on. Okay. I just had to like clip my cuticle a little bit and it was just bugging me. And I cleaned off my brush a little bit in my brush cleaner, so. We're back, we're back here. Do, 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 do. So, um, yeah, this whole playground situation at school is really annoying me. And I was talking to my friend who's, um, shizzle stick, who's a librarian. And, oh my gosh, she's like, are you serious? Because she didn't know that, like, it had been pushed back and what the reasoning was. And she's like, oh my god. I'm like, yeah. I know, our district is retarded right now. Can't get their shit together. Meanwhile, we got unfinished playgrounds. So my oldest is um, going to be receiving an academic award tonight for having a 3.5 GPA during um, the last semester of school last year. So I'm like, that's cool. So we're going to go to that tonight. 
so he kind of gets to skip team dinner tonight. But I mean, I don't think he would have eaten it anyways. The lady who um, is doing team dinner tonight, she straight did entree and both sides. She straight up was like, I'm gonna make um, chicken enchilada casserole and beans and rice. That's what she's bringing. I'm like, holy shit. Um, so yeah, that's what they're having. But my kid doesn't really like Mexican food that much. And so I'm like, he wouldn't eat any of that anyways. But nobody has signed up to do it next week. And I'm like, <laughs> I can't, I can't afford it again right now, dude. Like, oh my gosh. I just freaking did it. And I mean, I don't even know, like, if I tried to just do like a finger food type thing. Like, oh my God, I don't even know what I would do. Like, <laughs> you know, you think nachos, but nachos is still a huge production. And then that requires like a crock pot that would need to be plugged in somehow and you know staying warm and you know what if one thing wasn't enough one crock pot one big old thing of cheese whatever like you know like I don't know I'm just overly anxious over stuff like that and so <laughs> I don't like feeding big <laughs> groups of people it's just too much anxiety for me thank you My finger is sticky. Okay. Okay. I gotta brush these off. Okay. Now, oh, ooh, the activator might be cold enough. Ooh, here we go. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. It's changing. You see it? Eek. It's the tips that are changing. Oh, I totally skipped my middle finger. How did I do that? Yeah. Okay. My tips are changing at least. It's black. There it goes. Pink to black, guys. Eek. So I had purchased um, a pink to black like last year sometime. That was one of the first thermal colors I had ever purchased. And I didn't realize that they have temperatures on them when you purchase. And I had bought one where the temperature was way too crazy to um, ever work and change. So I had to get a new one. So yay! Ah, finally it works the way it's supposed to. So I'm gonna let these um, harden up, file, buff, shape, and I will be back. All right, I have my nails under an ice pack right now. Are you guys ready? We need a top coat, but I just wanted to see what I could do with just this ice pack. Let me zoom me out. I got this ice pack. You ready? One, two. <laughs> oh, yes, love it. All right, um, I guess I'm just gonna set that right there. Let me put on that first. Okay, top coat. I'm using the Revel Nail Gel Top Coat from the Sensitive Kit. Let me do this though really quickly. My cat is being naughty. He is 
up on the counter when he knows he's not supposed to be there. He's just being all shit. Sorry, I'm just like really concentrating right now. I'm like literally just in my own world in my mind right now. <laughs> So, question, how many of you guys are conspiracy theorists? What conspiracy theories do you guys like? Which ones are the most interesting to you? Share, share, share in the comments because <laughs> I love the rabbit holes. I love going down the rabbit hole sometimes. For a minute there, my bestie and I, we were like, constantly sending each other conspiracy theory videos and oh my gosh for a hot minute it was um almost depressing just even like thinking about everything going on around us because it was like oh my gosh and some of them I damn well believe but yeah crazy crazy world we live in or whatever it is that we're in Alright. Get them all, I think so. Alright, we're gonna flip these guys over for a second and we are going to cure and I will be right back with the finished look. Alright, here they are. We need to. Shit. <laughs> Good thing the lid was on that. And here is the finished look, guys. So let me know what you think down in the comments. I think it's a cute one. Ugh. I'm gonna have to do this again in the winter where they'll like stay black most of the time too. Oh my God, my cat is a freaking maniac. Okay, so we have one of those um, like metal security doors at the front door and my cat climbs up it all the time. Well, he just realized that he can go all the way up the door and like get onto the actual like top, you know, the top of our freaking front door, which is like this wide. He's climbing on it and like walking on it. And then he was like trying to get on the fan blade. He's a freaking menace. Well, all of a sudden he just came tearing across the freaking room and jumped on the screen at the back door and just climbed that. But he just like backed himself down and he jumped off the door and yeah, he's, oh my gosh. Now he's on the kitchen table. Oh my gosh, you guys, he's a freaking menace. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you like this video. Let me know what you guys think. Would you wear this color? Do you like the fact that it changes to black? And um, seriously, let me know what conspiracy theories you guys are into because, um, yeah, I just want to see. I just want to see. So anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here with the channel. So I love that you guys love watching me. And to everybody who is here, who's new, who's old, thank you so much. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. And thank you guys so much. Until the next video. Bye.